Hello and welcome to another drum video lesson with myself Simon Brett from Kensington Temple, discovered Berkshire Maestro Zigaban. Uh, you know the script by now I'm sure. Um, today we're going to be working uh, again from the Drum Grooves book, continuing our series of explaining it all in lessons and we're going to have a look at the quarter note groove, the quarter note groove or in actual fact the quarter note rhythm. Uh, the quarter note rhythm is counted as one, two, three, four. So basically the number that we associate with quarters is four. If you had a big pizza and you had three of your friends around and cut it into quarters, you'd be cutting it into four pieces. Um, and basically, so that's how we count it, one, two, three, four. Four, four pieces, four beats if you will. Um, and whereas we've been working so far in eighth notes, one and two and three and four and, the difference is, is that we're taking away the and. One and now just becomes one. So even though we're taking away the ands, we still have to kind of respect the space of, uh, that the ands have left in our quarter note counting. One and two and three and four and becomes one, two, three, four. But I'm still leaving enough space for the and if you're to put it back in there. Um, so basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to play a quarter note groove uh, a chord note rhythm, beg your pardon, on the hi hats as so. One, two, three, four. So you should be able to hear the difference between an eighth note rhythm, one and two and three and four and, and now a quarter note rhythm, one, two, three, four. Uh, so there you go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play some bass drum and snare drum with that uh, rhythm. I'm going to put the bass drum on the one, snare drum on the two, bass drum on the three, and the bass drum on the and of three, and the snare drum on the four. Now, this means that the bass drum on the and of three is not going to be with a hi-hat, because the hi-hat plays all of the numbers. One, two, three, four. So my bass drum is going to go in between the third and the fourth strokes on the hi-hat. I'm going to play in context now and um, hopefully you'll see what I mean. So there you go. Now this is really good coordination um, development because it's very easy to kind of play, you know, if you're a beginner drummer, it's very easy to start playing your right hand with your right foot all the time. But of course we don't really want to be doing that um, as drummers, we want to have good separation and independence uh, between our arms and our legs. So, I'm going to play that a bit more real world now. Two more examples I'm going to play for you here. The bass drum is now going to play on the one and the and of one, and then on the and of three. Now this is pretty cool because this means now that the hi-hat only plays on the three, so there's no bass drum with the hi-hat, but another bass drum It's the hi-hat and then the bass drum on the and. Um, I'll play it slowly and um, probably understand it a bit better if I play it rather than talk endlessly all day about it. Here it is. Now the 
the third and final pattern I'm going to do is there is no bass drums with the hi-hats at all. We're going to play a bass drum on the and of one, the and of three, and the and of four. I'll go super slow um, and check it out. One, two, three, four. One and two, three and four. And one and two, three and four. And one and two, three and four. And uh, I'll go uh, a little bit quicker now, a bit more real world. No grooves, but with eighth notes uh, being played uh, on the bass drum, so that helps develop our coordination and our independence. Um, cool, so um, yeah, I hope you got something from that, and uh, thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.